Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I am going to show you how to create multiple layers into a single layer, creating sub layers, grouping layers, anyhow you want to put it. We'll find out. On the left hand side of my screen, this is our point of interest today, another map. So here we have multiple layers in different file formats and whatnot. To create a layer group, you can simply click on the first layer, hold down control, click on the next layer, or you click on all the layers on the first layer which you want, hold down shift, click on the third layer, right click and select um, group selected. Group selected, it's bundled them into a single group, which can be viewed as a group so the advantage of this is that you can view all group members you can turn them off at once and you can view them at once you can also view them individually and let's check out some other configuration when you right click on the group name you can rename the group name so call it special data hub do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I made a mistake there. So you can rename the group name. You can right click also. You can add a group to this group. Let's say add a group. Subgroup one. You can add layers by dragging them and pushing them on top of the group name. And it's assigned as a subgroup. You can push it on top of the group name. It's assigned as a subgroup. So within groups of layers, you can further group your layers. This makes it very easy to organize your workflow and organize how your files are saved and worked on here. On these layer groups, you can set a coordinate reference system that will work with all the layers under this group. Select coordinate reference of choice. Many more things you can do. You can set it to be mutually exclusive group. Setting as mutually exclusive group simply means that only one um, layer under the group can be viewed at the same time. So it just saves you time of clicking and not clicking. When you click on this, the other clicks grid out, click on that. And that's just it. We'll turn this off here. What else can we do? We can export this layer. We can export this layer. Export it and save as a definition file. We'll save it on our desktop. Call it special. Now, if we want to bring back this layer from our desktop, let's know. Let's close this first. Let's remove this layer from our remove this group. My workspace. I want to bring it back here. Just simply drag and drop. And here you have it. I hope this video was helpful. Then one last tip I will drop in this video is that the way I organize my files to make them more visible. Over time, I have understood that this is the best. And according to points, then lines, then polygons. So points at the top, lines under, and then polygons beneath. This makes it that all points are seen above their lines and above polygons. It makes it that all lines are seen above polygons as well. And then all polygons can be seen where the points and the lines lie in. That's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.